Hello. Welcome to our psychology talk show. Each week they pick one or two psychologists to talk about their work. I am Wilhelm Wood. And I am Hamann Ebbinghaus. We both are going to discuss some psychology principles from the experimental side of things. I hope you will enjoy our discussion. I suppose I will start telling you a little bit about myself and who I am in the psychology world. I've come all the way from my homeland, Germany. I completed my doctorate at the University of Heidelberg in Germany. I founded the first psychological laboratory. Oh! And I am the founder of modern psychology. I myself am much different than Wundt. I conducted my studies at the University of Bann and then moved on to Halle in Berlin. I was also the first psychologist to investigate learning and memory experimentally. Wasn't Edward Titkner supposed to be here? Yes, yes he was but he was held up with some important work. He went to Oxford University and earned his doctorate at Leipzig, where he continued to teach for many years. He started what you would call structuralism and still believes in it today. He would be quite aggravated with how many women are in the audience. However, it is widely accepted in today's psychology society. This is very true. Let's dive right in with some discussion. Let's begin with introspection. That is defined as the examination of one's own mental state. I call this internal perception. If you want to have true internal perception like I did, you must have complete control over the conditions under which internal perception is performed. Well you know Titkner says that the most important aspect of introspection is control over the researchers conducting the experiment. He believes in detailed qualitative measurements and subjective reports. That's all wrong. Internal perception must be objectively quantitative measurements. Titkner just doesn't know what he is talking about. Goodness gracious he should be here to defend himself. Well if there is one thing Titkner and I can agree on it would be how we can not experiment on higher mental processes. This is some of my life's best work. For five years I have carried out a series of controlled and comprehensive structures using only myself as the subject. What I have found is that learning can be measured by the frequency which is counting the number of repetitions for a perfect reproduction of the material. Hmm. You have no school of thought and haven't made a single theoretical contribution to psychology. According to Schultz and Schultz, my dear Wundt, I have had a much larger influence on psychology than Titkner has and I have made the study of learning more objective and quantifiable than you or him. Okay, okay. No need to be so angry. Stay tuned in next week where Charles Darwin will be featured here on the show. I can promise you don't want to miss that.